Get it together. Okay, ready? One, 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 two, three. Hi, everybody, and welcome to 3 Ply Podcast. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. And I'm Joyce. And we are glad you could join us today. We're going to start out with the administrative portion, and that is our dear friend, Irene. Okay. Well, how are we doing on the Lights and Twigs shawl? Uh, our Cal is ending May 1, so there's still plenty of time to enter, and our Ravelry ch chatter thread is going crazy. It's very active, and the designer, Barbara N Nalevko from Knitting I Love, is very active in our chatter thread, so she's helping people, and we thank her for yeah, her. it's awesome that she's... That she's doing that's that. somebody who has, uh, rather than somebody who ignores completely questions. Right, right, yep, because yeah. we've had that happen too with designers, well, and that's <laughs> not a good thing. So <laughs> we are delighted and yeah. appreciative. So that is a sign of a very good designer. There you go. So thank you, Barbara, for being so thoughtful. Check out all and, patterns. You know, checking into. All right. I haven't made any progress from the. Okay, online. that's okay. I haven't. Yeah, and I'm wearing mine already, so. I'm I know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't mean to make you guys feel bad. I don't think <laughs> doing a good job. Yeah. Put your time. I'm not late. Yeah, no, Joyce is never worried. <laughs> Angie, no, so you're not worried either. You know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. All right. So okay. since you're already wearing yours, let's move on to what yeah. are you wearing? Well, I'll tell you what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the easy, what is it? Easy folded poncho by Love Church Mouse. Pattern. Love. And um, the history of this is that I went to Michigan, met with Meg up in Traverse City, and she took me to a knit shop that had this Rowan felted tweed on sale. They also had a sample of this folded poncho. And she's like, oh, let's knit it. And she got the hot pink color and I got the brown. She's good at that. Let's she's knit it. it. <laughs> she's very good. Like, so uh, I have completed mine. And maybe and more. I'll tell you what else is real nice about this pattern. It's so straightforward. Stacking it most of the way down. Mm -hmm. And then you just seam it on the shoulder. Uh, but I only knit on it when I was on the phone. So I think I talk on the phone too much because I had no problem just well, whipping this baby out. <laughs> you know, it was like, funny. boom, done. So um, The first anyways. person I ever saw knit that was my friend Laura Keegan. And she, I love that thing. And she wore it a lot. So yeah, And it's know. warm. Oh, it's very lightweight. I think Betsy has what? this yarn now. She, she just got it and I'm yeah. ordering some. To, oh. I'm going to do a stranded sweater, I think. The color work. Stranded? Mm -hmm. What yeah. would you call that? Stranded color yeah. Yeah, Ooh, because I think it, it will be very well suited for that. But, yeah, um, absolutely. I think I want to do like a navy with magenta, you know, the yolk. I don't know. We'll see how that all goes, but mm. uh, that's on order. You are so good. Yeah. Okay, I am wearing, dug it out, love this pattern. We all know I love this oh, pattern. Oh, yes. Bad oyster. Bad oyster. Yeah. You the know, obsession. The yeah. obsession, you know, my <laughs> obsession with the bad oyster, where you knit it in the cone and then you cut it and it makes the fringe. And I think, I know that this is Rios. I want to say it's Anniversario. I think you're right. Uh, I could be wrong. It might be Archangel, but I'm pretty sure no, it's... No, I think uh, it's... Uh, pretty sure it's Anniversario. So, um, yeah, if you want a great pattern to knit and try a little steaking. Steaking, yes. Um... I would say try it. It's Bad Oyster by Alex Tinsley. And um, we went into detail about it in a previous episode. So if you look up our um, podcast, just look for the one entitled Bad Oyster. Right. right. Yeah. And I think there's yeah. even a thing of me cutting one. And yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, we couldn't have gotten more yeah. crazy with and that it, thing. This yeah. thing was fun. I mean, I think it's fun. And the other thing that's good about this one, like uh, I think I said on our last podcast with that uh, one I was wearing, is you can make this out of any weight, any yarn. You just grab a skein or two, mm -hmm. knit till you're done, and then cut it. And yeah, not yeah. complicated. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Easy so, peasy. Easy peasy. So, dug it out, thought I'd show it again. It's very fun. nice, very nice. nice. And you, my dear? And I'm wearing the color shift, you all know, by uh, Andrea Mallory. Look at how pretty that looks on you. Yeah. And, and it's striking know, against the white shirt, I think. And the orange and fuchsia, like, 
You'd, a lot yeah. of people would go, oh, I'll never put that together, but look how great it looks. Yeah, it turned out good. Yeah. And it is bright and typically not something that I would wear, but... It's gorgeous. I, like yeah. I really like Because yeah. Carson doesn't want it. She doesn't want <laughs> She's it. She's crazy. She's like, I don't want it. Oh, with her dark hair, I would have thought I she know. looks so yeah. cool. So, it's yeah. mine. All right, whatever. Love <laughs> it. I can't explain kids no, nowadays. So. They are paying in the keister. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are moving on to what did you finish? Well, I've got to pass on this because I have some items in no bare feet. Oh, okay. Well, and I guess I kind of have a pass on it because I haven't finished anything except for little um, Izzy dolls, which I keep giving away. So, okay. Um, Obviously, you are uh, hooked. I am. Those little dolls are obsession. stinking. I get that way about <laughs> things, do. though. It's like, it, but it's only certain things. But yeah. this to the dolls is quite a... Big stretch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think the dolls, it's because they're easy and I can knit one in, you know, a few, a little bit. The trees, yeah, the, the trees. Was the trees a, oh, yeah. So you do yeah. like that instant gratification. I do. Yeah. I do like yeah, instant gratification knitting. I do. I really do. Well, I do have a couple of things. Okay. Um, I did finish the Evermore sweater. It is not blocked and not all of the ends are woven in. Mainly because... The sleeves and the neck have that I-cord bind off, and I'm never quite sure when you get from the beginning to the end how to make a nice transition. transition. Oh. So I need to do some investigating with that. And I did one sleeve, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look so great. It so, is so pretty. Wow. Looks like it's 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 funny, it's it's a it does fit really, really good. I'm almost afraid to block it too much because I don't want it to get any bigger because I think it is. Oh. Um, how about if you White just steamed it? Like, yeah, just steamed yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, because I want that's the, I want the I it does roll, so it. I want the roll to go yeah. out. Oh, that's so, super cute. But yeah, really I'm happy nice. it's done. And I still have tons of youth this year in like both colors. Make a matching ensemble. Do some make an Izzy doll. doll. Do it, yeah. yeah, make an Izzy doll and uh, yeah. you put a necklace <laughs> chain on her I and wear her around. But you know, I've had it for so long, I just want to use it and be done. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the, um, let's see. So that was by, I think it's Sabrina Harnage. Again, the Evermore sweater. There you go. So cute. And I really, so I really do like it. And then the other thing I wanted or finished was the Cozy Winter Shawl by Melanie um, Melinger. Mel 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 Melinger. 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 Sorry, Melanie. But I thought that was really cute. Yeah. And I made this out of the Rios. And I think the color Nothing is better than Rios. My thought. And again, this is not blocked. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh my gosh. I really, pretty. really do like you it. Get a little closer so I can see that. I like this blue. Yeah, I do too. It's a pretty blue. So this was very fun and very wow. fast. I think if it took me a week, it was a lot. Really? Yeah. It was, it looks it was complicated very, very here with the... Nope. Just yarn overs and one, Ooh, you know, a couple of cables, but... Very nice. Very nice. Super cute. So when I block that, that'll get a little, that'll grow a little bit. So it'll be perfect size then. But I, I enjoyed really like this them. one. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. How many skeins? Um, I bought three. I used two. And maybe, oh, what's the maybe a skosh. It's Rio's. So oh you can make gosh. a matching hat. What was I hat? could I could make a hat. Yeah. What was the hat you made on the last episode? That was really nice. Allotment. Yeah. You could make a little allotment to go yeah. with it. I saw Chevy Brown or Chavis. Uh, yeah, like Chavis your, like yeah. the hat. Yeah, yeah she does. So, but it is a nice hat, and the yarn yeah, is perfect lot. for that. Yeah, so yeah, that alignment hat nice. is nice because it, you could do slouchy or yeah, it has you know, three different. Yeah. You could do yeah. the beanie, the slouchy, or relaxed. Yeah. I think it was called. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Super cute. All Super right, cute. moving on to no bare feet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm sure there's a gentleman <laughs> out there watching us. Hi, buddy. No. <laughs> um, all right. No bare feet. I snorted. So. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Go um, this is my vanilla sock recipe. Again, trying to use up, you know, these balls that are running around loose in my house. And uh, so I just used every bit of leftovers that I had to make this pair of socks. They're and cute. Yeah, I really think They're they cute. worked out well. Yeah. This part was a, kind of a tonal oh. color. And what I did was a row of this, a row of that, a row of that, so that I could continue 
kind of that color mm -hmm. cool. without breaking it up too much and uh, did your own fade did yeah. you yeah so yeah fade it <laughs> call me andrea maury <laughs> i think she'd rather we call you yeah. irene okay. Okay. so that was that and then uh the then I did a... Um, I love these. These are yeah. cute. This is a pattern sock. Take a look at this. Yeah, very cute. Uh, very perfect. The name pattern. of this uh, pattern is called Show Off Stranded Socks by Ann Campbell. And the deal here is it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And who I doesn't like it. that? Who doesn't like a free pattern? The yarn is Art Yarns Ultra Merino 4. And it came like the two skeins, uh, what was this? The body of the sock is in the colorway 127, and then the cup is colorway 217. So I knit this, it comes in two sizes, small, medium, or you've got the large. And I did the small, medium, but it does actually look a little big. I wanted to give this to a daughter of mine that's having a birthday. Uh, not sure if it'll fit her. Sometimes socks are forgiving, though. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a little big, as long as it's not too small, I think a person can wear them because yeah. you can kind of have a fudge factor with the heel. So yeah, um, very cute. Yeah, yeah, super Thank cute. You. Thank you. So that's all I got in the For sock feet? department. What do you have in the sock department? Um, I did start another pair of socks. I love this yarn. Love, love, love. This turned out really cute. And this one is called Lava Fields. Let me find my little tag here. Oh, the color. Literally things. It's Vesper Sock Yarn by Literally Things. Lava Fields. So, yeah. That's turned very, out really very cute. nice. Yeah, I really do like Who the are yarn. these for, may I ask? These are for me. Oh. Yeah. They're for me. Always good to knit for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Those but are super They could cute. go to, a, you know, one of my sons. But I, I think it could be size. a man, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's a unisex but color. But it looks small, it's so keep color. them for yourself. Yeah, I think yeah. they're very cute. They're really cute. So. Yeah, the color is awesome. And I think I'll do the strong heel with these. Oh, good. Good. So. Who doesn't need practice in that one? Yeah. Yep. Very good. Any others? Nope. That's okay, it. Okay. Okay. Moving on. All right. So we are moving right along here. What are you knitting? I'm knitting what both of you are knitting. <laughs> the Amber Shore. Oh! How do you like that? We and actually this stole is, this pattern uh, from Chevis, right? Yes. She was knitting it and I loved it. Yeah. And this is by Ines Sang. And uh, let's see, what have I done here? I am using for the main color that's speckled this is a direful yarns and we're getting some practice in uh what do you call Fair that play. the stranded work or color work and Fair um play. yeah pretty happy with the result and uh so let's see the direful yarn is called dr frankenstein in her slasher sock so this is all fingering weight yarn um, and then I have uh, Mano Still Uruguay in the sand color, and then a uh, single mm. ply, and this is a Tash Merino light in the color Leopard. This is so rainy. pretty. Kind of dark. So yeah, I like the colors. Boy, I, I absolutely love this uh, Frankenstein. Did you change your needle size when you uh, went to this? Did it say so in the pattern? I think so. Then I did. Okay. Because I follow directions when, when I can. So, yeah. Right. I'm not sure that I am delighted with the spine. Like, it was fine this way, and then when I started the color work, it got a little sloppy. A little but wonky. I don't, yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. I that don't, bothers I don't think, me, but not I don't, enough to undo yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you'd notice unless you, like, really... I shouldn't be pointing it out, then. Right, yeah, right. I think... I don't know that I did anything wrong, though, because the... The stitch count is working. There's no, you no know, deviation right. from that, but maybe it's just me. Hmm. So it looks fine to me. Yeah. I think it looks great. Okay. All right. Moving if it looks right good on. to you and you, then that's all that I will keep it going that way. Then. All righty. Oh, thank you. Okay. I also am knitting the same pattern, and. You should thank Chevy Chevis for uh, the Chevy Rel podcast. 
um, for actually showing us her amber shore because I think you really yeah that was dug that's it. Where, yeah. Like, yeah as soon as she mentioned it on her podcast I went and looked yeah. it up and they so were here is mine and I am not as far as Irene but Irene and I actually have the same color for yeah. for our beginning the main thing yeah the uh, Frankenstein. And I love it's a pretty color this. Right? Yeah. But my colors are different for my bate. See? Yeah, I forgot what you got. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Yeah. So I have a cream, which is. Oh, oh you could use these in your Izzy doll. I can. If you wanted oh, yeah. a, pale, for a pale, pale skin. Yeah, pale. All right, so this is Alegria. There you go. Assorted. I, uh, it says cream, crema. So okay. there's that one. And then my other color, we all know much I love teal and turquoise, um, is this one, which is Mich Malabrigo Machetta in dun, 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 teal feathers. Oh, very nice. So mine will be a little different because I have different colors, mm -hmm. but it's kind of the same. Beautiful. So very beautiful pretty. choice. Yeah. And I'm not much further than Angie. I've got the the first section done, I'll call it. And I oh, also, did we all pick direful? I, I think we did. Yeah, I think we all did. Aren't so I have direful. Special. And let's see, I have the color written down somewhere. Slasher Sock, Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, Is that <laughs> yes. That's funny. And we know where that's from. Right. Well, I don't. Actually. Well, you know what? There's a Crystal Lake in Michigan, which well, is funny. There's a Crystal Lake in Illinois. Yeah. Well, yeah. isn't Camp Crystal Lake from uh, Freddy? Freddy? Oh, I don't watch okay. scary movies. Yeah. Okay, it's a. Yeah. It's okay. all slasher. I didn't know that. Kind so of. that's where it comes from. Yeah, and I, I don't watch scary movies. And my colors. I love scary movies. Love, love, love. I don't want to be scared. So this one Yay. is Fino, and this color is called Inkwell. Love it. And then I have, uh, I think it's Allegria. Oh, how nice. And that one is called Silver. Beautiful. So this will be my That's gonna strand be so and pearl combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah. Super pretty. I approve. Yep. Good. Loving so. it. Oh, and I do have one more thing that I'm working on. It's a sweater by Libby Johnson. She is Truly Myrtle. She has a podcast. And this sweater is called Huya. It's H-U-I-A. And it's done in the lace weight yarn. And Did you pick it for the name? Done is no. <laughs> Actually, I had the um, I had the yarn, and I originally had planned to make something else with it. And then I don't even know what that was anymore. So I was watching her podcast one day, and she was going over all of her sweaters that she had knit over the years. And um, I happened to see this one, and she said metal. I'm like, oh, I have that yarn. So I decided to make it. And actually, Irene, you might have to put a picture in because I actually don't have the yarn. Okay, no problem. Did I put the pattern? Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. Oh, okay. But it's in black and white. That's all right. So, but it's, just, uh, it's, a, it's a simple little cardigan with a little lace pattern. I actually don't have a picture. Little lace pattern down, the, down each front. How do you spell it? H U I A. So, and the color, let's see. That's a pretty what is color. The color. The color is called uh, Pokeweed. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what could that and be? Here's the little lace pattern down the front. Maybe it's that a flower side. of some sort. Um, I believe it is. Well, I think she lives in New Zealand, so maybe it's a reference for something there. So I'm almost done with um, with the body of the sweater. Wait, is maybe the yarn from New inches. Zealand? Oh, we I got enough sheep over there. I don't actually know, but I really do like it. It's been a it's been a fun, easy, easy knit. All right, you won't be able. She's to, pretty. Isn't you won't she? be able to see yeah, this too well up. on camera, probably. The, but that's the yarn is made in Peru. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very cute front. So. Is this pieced? No. Well, the sleeves are set in. So you have to sew them in? I believe so. Well, that just sucks. <laughs> but I can do it. Well, I know you can do it, but. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to? Angie doesn't want to. No. So. 
so that's what I got. I have one more thing to show too, just so, just because. So I just started this little sweater and it's supposed to be sock yarn. This is DK, DK weight. Again, it's a Sadar yarn. Uh, Sadar, Sardar Crofter DK. So what's the color weight? It's pretty I don't know, I've had it for a million years. Uh, it just says Fair Isle, oh, okay. 54. Okay. So I don't think you can probably get it anymore. But that's the yarn. So that's Fair Isle's on its own on its own deal. And I started it for my future granddaughter. I think it's So pretty. you think, did you measure what this comes to? No. To see whether this is too big? Well, you know what? I don't think I'd worry about it because at some point her head's going to get big. Right. Right? And right. then you wear it then. I'm, and because she's going to work in reverse. Because she's going to be born in July, I'm making a six to 12 months. So right. that may be right. another reason that it's making me feel like, oh my God, this is so big yeah. because right. it's not a tiny baby sweater. Right, but right. She will be six to 12 months at Christmas time. Right. So, of course, I'll save that for Christmas. So, and the pattern is um, flat. Oh, it's a sweater. Yeah. Oh, it was a hat. Why what? are you not it's a correcting me? It's a sweater. Right, people, it's a baby okay. sweater by. Um, Pay attention. Tin can knits. It's a uh, flax light. Okay. And this pattern, which I thought was so cool about it, there's tons of sizes, right? It goes all the way up to like a God, big. Those patterns size. from tin can knits are awesome. And I thought, not that I think I want to knit myself a sweater in sock yarn, but it goes from zero to six months all the way to four extra large. Wow, nice. Yeah. Well, so, you're getting your money's worth seriously. Right. So I'm doing the six to 12 month size and I use the DK yarn, but, um, so it's gonna be a little bit, That's but nice. it's such a cute little I sweater. I like that, it's cute. So, the yarn is really cute. And there's the little picture. Yeah, very, very nice. So, like I said, so not sweet. that I think yeah, I wanna nice knit size. that in uh, adult size, but maybe, you never know. Oh, too bad you couldn't do matching. Right. Grandma and the little girl. Aw, yes, <laughs> that's nice. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and that's that's about it. Oh, I do have another pattern that I've been looking at too, though. This baby blanket. Baby, uh No, it's knit. It's called. It's a free pattern. It's called Baby Bubbles Blanket. Oh, look how cute that is! It looks like little coins. Yeah, it looks crochet. But it's knit, and you drop down a stitch, and um, oh, I like the pico edging on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so cute. I think I'm going to do it in yellow and gray because again, gray is the color of all. Gray is <laughs> the color. So there you go. Okay, and that's about it. So we are going to move on to our very favorite segment of the whole day. Don't tell my husband. Shh. Hey, what are we not telling your husband? Well, a few weeks ago or whenever it was, do you remember when um, a young uh, knitter friend of ours came? Paige. Paige! She's she, so sweet. She finished those socks. She, she sent did? me a picture. She did. She was she working on a pair of socks. I think I saw them on Instagram. Yes, she put them on Instagram. Okay. Well, well Paige this was the, best. the color. And I was captivated. Not only captivated that here this young girl is knitting away. Didn't she say she learned to knit like from YouTube or something? She's Unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't resist. I thought, oh, I wonder if they still have like this colorway knitted wit victory sock in the colorway pantsuit. I love it, pantsuit. Yeah, okay, so here's her little, I probably shouldn't show her name here. Here's her socks that she finished. They were very nice. Yeah, she's so, she's a good knitter. She's a very good knitter, and she's a sweet girl. Yeah, really sweet. We really like her. So uh, she's in junior high, and her mom will drive her up to the knit night so she can sit with us. Her mom sits in the front and works on Girl Scout stuff, mm -hmm. and she sits back with us and knits, and we love having her. Yeah. So hi, Paige. Come hi, visit Paige. us again <laughs> soon. All right, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. you're gonna knit yeah. the same thing. Socks? Well, I don't know whether it should be socks or something else. You know, I sometimes think that uh, my production of socks is so great that I should start deviating branching and branching out. Yeah, branch out. It's a, another idea instead of the socks all the time. We shall see. Maybe you could get yeah. more of it and knit yourself a, that flax sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she has like five skins. <laughs> yeah. It's 
maybe I should talk. knit a pantsuit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Pantsuit. Yeah. Again, pantsuit. I would need like what, 50 skeins? No, pantsuit. Knit yeah. a pantsuit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> And on the runway one. now oh, is Irene. Yeah. And in pantsuit. Oh. I'm pantsuit. With her bubble butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, yes. what, were the, what were the bottoms of the pants called? Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. Oh, oh yeah. That's a must do. Chunky, yeah. raised up. <laughs> oh, yes. Platform, Platform shoes. Platform shoes. Yeah. All right. Why That's a look. Big sunglasses. Big sunglasses. Oh, yes. Oh. Like Jackie yes. O. Big round ones. <laughs> Maybe a hat. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. That was one of those floppy hats. Okay, so I have, for Don't Tell My Husband, I found a pattern online called Alina, Aline, A L E E N A N, Aline Miko. That's the name of the pattern um, by Lauren Us. Laura. Laura Ustalo. Usitaki. Usitalo. Anyway, it's this cute little baby dress. And one of the people had made it out of, um, you might recall last episode, I was making a baby blanket out of this bamboo, uh, Sadar baby bamboo. Um, one person had made it out of this. So I am going to make the baby dress out of this beautiful. Nice. I think that you want this baby to look teal. Yes, I, I want <laughs> yes, yes. I do. I want it to love. Well, good that you're not sticking to just pinks. I think no. that's a good idea. No. no. And if it comes out looking the way I think it's going to, mm -hmm. which is real dark hair and, you know, very Italian, um, it will look good. Or, yeah, she. Or she. Yeah, because mom good. is Latina and dad is Ital yeah. half Italian and they're both very dark. This would be a great color of it. Yes, I would so. agree. Better than well, even gray. a blonde though would look nice in this yeah. color. Yeah, hold it up by. Uh, if yeah. they get, if they get a blonde yeah. baby, seriously. I'm going to be just seriously concerned. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Okay. It'd be interesting. <laughs> but sometimes I thought dark-haired uh, babies can come out blonde, and then they. Well, I was into the. I was blonde till oh, I was well, like there you five. Go. Yeah, yeah you both my parents were never know. So doesn't mean there's a milkman involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know there wasn't because there case, is such a thing nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is such a nice yarn to knit with, and I thought, oh, if I can knit it out of that, I'm going to grab it. So it, it's just a little baby pinafore dress with no kind of barely any cap sleeves and uh, just a cable down the cable front, down right? the front. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really cute. cute. Figure very throw cute. it over yeah. it that it's easy to yeah. yeah get the baby so, into it. Yeah, yeah, super cute, pretty yarn. Very, so this is what nice. I bought, and this is all I bought. I bought three of them because that's all I okay. need. Okay, so. Good job. What about you? Well, I purchased all the yarn from my Amber Shore shawl. Oh, there you go. That's that what was, I yeah. got. And yeah. that, yeah, we had we to all get did three, that. Yeah, yeah. three skeins. That adds up. Yeah. Yep. I've yep. been trying to go through my stash, and I have so, so much stash. I don't know what to knit. I'm yeah. like... I'm, I'm all over the place with what now, I should Now, have you get. ever uh, thought to go to Ravelry and look up the yarn yep. and then look at the mm -hmm. project? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. Maybe you told me I'm supposed yep. to do that. Somebody tell me. And, well, you know, that is helpful. It mm -hmm. is. It's, it's a little helpful. Cause, yeah. But depending on your style, what you like, what yeah. you don't like, it's it's very difficult to do it that way. Well, that's how I ended up making that red blanket for uh, Nico and Nicole was the, um, you know, I, I had all this red superwash cascade 128 in my stash and i'm like what am i going to do with this well what better than because it's washable there's got to be some pleasure in and using, using your stash. what you have yeah Seriously. all my all my little izzy dolls are made out of leftover reels yeah. who doesn't have leftover balls of reels oh yeah. just from just from christmas from right. kids hats I, yeah. have, I have a i have a bag full of unused yeah. Rios, yeah. just the leftovers from the hats. Well, and you were oh, talking about using yeah. leftovers for another um, color shift. Color that's shift. That's a good idea. I mean, all your yeah. leftover sock yarn that you've... I'm oh sure my you've... gosh, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm thinking, forget it with the clown socks. Try, we'll see how this works. Yeah, you know, but I would be okay with doing one of those little cozy memories blankets. Can't go there. I can't. I have thought so long and so hard and I... It does keep coming back to my to the forefront of my brain, like, oh, you should do a blanket. Not digging that idea. I'm just not. And I did think too. I have thought, oh, you could learn how to crochet. Yeah. So maybe you yeah. can do one of those. The crochet uh, ones are so yeah. cute. Right. That has crossed my mind. 
You know, I think if I taught you to do granny squares, which is what I learned when I was in the second or third grade. I still have to use YouTube for granny squares. I can't remember that for the life of me. I'm going to take why. you up on it, Janji, yeah. in the summer when you're off. I, yeah. Please. I because want a lesson and I want to see, maybe I'll enjoy doing something. I think like. if you could, and the nice thing is, I mean, years ago, you had to sew them all together. There is a way to do a granny square and connect them as you go. Oh, and then that you know, I would like. Yeah. I mean, if you don't care what it's going to be, if it's going to be a scrap blanket yeah. and it's just going to be whatever. So aren't there issues about this being wonky, like each square being like net? No, not if you're using all sock yarn. That's the same weight. Oh, okay. So or the key um, is to use the same weight, weight mm -hmm. yarn. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, granny squares are a great way to use up leftovers yeah. and especially if you want like a scrappy blanket and nowadays i mean granny squares back in the day were a granny square now there's granny hexes and granny flowers and granny i mean so like once you learn let's start with the easy one yeah once you learn the granny <laughs> square go into something complicated plus two you can do like a granny you know long gated granny where you you know it's like a rectangle and then you just keep adding to mm -hmm. that and okay you know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I would like to try. I, I would I love, love to that teach idea. You. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. I would love right. that. I, I am taking you on. All right, sounds good. What about you, Joyce? Have you? Do you know crochet? I not? can crochet. I, you know, the stitches are familiar. I know how to hold the hook, but for some reason, I don't. One side usually goes like this, and the other one is straight. I don't know why. I don't know if I. You're missing a stitch. Already. I'm missing a stitch, but I don't. Oh. But it always that does one this. side. Maybe when you turn. Yeah. You're not... You know what might help you is charts opposed to reading it, because the I don't know. Those charts look so. Yeah, that's like hieroglyphics. Foreign to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do people I agree read those? But I think once you saw it, like on paper, it would be, you know, and, and when somebody explained it to you, who knows that? Like you know, this means a single crochet. It always means a single crochet. Because like Japanese patterns that are say, crocheted, it's I know that's universal. It's universal. It's universal. So, um, you know, like I've yeah. bought Japanese magazines and I can crochet things from Japanese magazines because, because it's, it's, got it's the just chart. the chart. And wow. the chart is, and a chart might be easier because then you see exactly where right. that stitch is going to go everywhere. Or that you have to put that stitch in. Mm -hmm. or what's, point, the, yeah. what's the other one? Um, insert needle, like two stitch or insert two stitches bef from the needle mm -hmm. well okay do you count the one that the needle is already in and then count over two or do the one that the needle is in do you count that as one whatever you're on that's your one and then two over so okay so all right see that's i think yeah that's, okay. i think that terminology is always what's screwed right up. Okay, and i think a lot of people get screwed up by that and that's why a lot of people when they crochet they have that's that first one. because <laughs> they're, love, they're not listening. crocheting in the same you know it's not in the same stitch but the very next stitch, and so they're not seeing that and they're going and so it's going whoop, right you know okay and if you don't know exactly how to look at it and the thing is crochet is just a series of knots that's all it is. Right. It's just knots. And if you can make knots with one, I mean, it's super simple. But just with all the, the scraps I have, just, you know, mm -hmm. not from, oh, just, would be from us so doing podcasts. Even, I just want, you know, one where I could just start one color. When I finish, start with a new well, color. Well, I think it's I mean, blankets I, just a that are, yeah. One. And that's what, I mean, if whether it be single crochet, double crochet. What's that called, Angie? The, those blankets that you... Oh, the, the, weather, go, the weather blankets? Think, well, I don't know. They... They go back and forth. That's yeah. it, and then they just yeah. switch colors. Yeah, you can what, you you could do a single, you could do a double, you could do a granny across, like a yeah. like a granny, like the three, you know, the three stitches, and you do a granny across, mm -hmm. and then you put them. Between. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, okay. There's just so much you can learn. You know, and someday, summer will. And be it good. uses a lot of yarn versus you know. It does use a lot of yarn. Um, who was it? Our friend Tuna. She did a couple scrappy blankets with um, knitting. I don't know. With really? all her leftover wool. Oh my God. Really? Incredible how it turned oh, out. Oh gosh, she's but so talented. I'm like, that's a lot yeah. of knitting. I'm like, yeah. even if I just left the basket by the chair, I'm like, I don't know when I would ever get to that. Well, maybe <laughs> that's irrelevant. Yeah. You know, yeah. just whenever. And the thing with crochet is you can pretty much pick it up and put it and you know where you're at. Yeah. It's And then like, if you make a mistake, you just pull it back and then, right. you know what I mean? Right. Unlike where you, if it's three rows down, you've got to pick it up and right. move it up and, you know, figure right. out what you had there. You just rip it back and start all over again. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So. Now that's a goal. All I right. like that. Something Setting goals for ourselves. There you go. Okay. 
Well, I think we have uh, kind of gone through our list here. Yeah. So let us know. All right. Well, everybody, it was good to see you. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Remember to keep on knitting. It's good for your health. Bye. 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 and welcome to Three Ply Podcast. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm Joyce. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> okay, almost three years into this. And, uh, okay. We're all allowed a mistake. That's okay. We do it right, sometimes. So okay, let's try Ready? to get open. <laughs> One, two. Wait, I can't stop <laughs> Work, work, work. Working nine to five. <laughs> oh my God, we'll never go home. <laughs> <laughs>